The 2025 Lotus Emira. We have a new press release here that came out for the Asia Pacific, Middle East, and Africa markets. But I'm thinking these changes could be similar to what we can expect in the United States market on these 2025 Emira. So I'll quickly go over the highlights here first, then I can go through the details. So let's get started. Lotus is saying that they have revised the Emira lineup to enhance offering to its customers, the Emira Turbo, the Turbo SE, and the Emira V6 is going to replace the first edition variants. And that Turbo SE model, it's all new and it comes with increased power and torque over the existing Emira first edition. And this is gonna be the quickest Emira to date. So that's really your big news here, the Turbo SE. I would be curious to see if this truly does come to the United States market. However, many of us are going to be interested in that V6 engine, but I'll talk more about that in a little bit. Anyway, the Turbo SE, it'll do 0 to 60 in about 4 seconds flat, and it has a maximum top speed of 290 kilometers an hour. There's going to be a new range of option packs and features, and there's going to be new wheel finishes, audio option, and external model branding the regular turbo and the v6 models are available in vivid red as a standard color and the new turbo se is going to feature a color known as zinc gray all right and those are your highlights now let's get into the details clearly they are still offering that supercharged three and a half liter v6 engine in either a six-speed manual or the automatic transmission and it will continue to have 400 horsepower yeah this is a truly special and rather overlooked vehicle most people when it comes to cars like this they simply go directly to porsche and they will get either the boxster or the cayman with that naturally aspirated boxer 6 engine and you can't blame people for going down that route because porsche has great support in the united states there's plenty of dealerships and you know what you're getting with that brand Whereas depending on where you live, it could be a bit more difficult to service the Amira. But I'm really liking the V6 because I recently saw a video by Valvetronic Designs. They created a new titanium exhaust for the supercharged V6 Amiras. And it does sound absolutely nuts. With that exhaust system, the Amira could truly be one of the most special cars for that $100,000 price range. And no, they have not unveiled the official pricing for 2025, but we can assume it's going to be about the same or it's going to go up a little bit. Right now in the United States, there's about 70 new Emiras for sale across the country when you look on Auto Trader as of October 2024. Prices range between 96,000 to about 112, 116 grand. Some dealerships are charging a markup for these things. That's something to keep in mind. So your best case scenario is to find a good dealership that's charging sticker price for these vehicles. I really don't think you can get a discount on these, but if you recently purchased one, let us know if you were able to get this car under the MSRP. But moving on from that, we also have here the turbo models and the new Turbo SE, which both utilize the four cylinder variable geometry turbo engine with the eight speed dual clutch transmission. The regular turbo is going to produce 360 horsepower and that SE model is going to produce 400 horses and it will also make 50 newton meters of torque more than the regular base turbo Emira. A base 2025 turbo for the markets I mentioned before are now going to include new 20 inch 10 spoke lightweight cast alloy wheels in gloss silver and these base turbos will get new Emira Turbo branding and new standard foot pedals and a new interior technical fabric headliner. As mentioned before, you can also get the vivid red paint with that base turbo, black brake calipers, black leather interior, 12-way electric seats, touring suspension settings, and you're also going to get the Goodyear Eagle F1 Super Sport tires that were developed exclusively for the Amira. Stepping up to that Turbo SE model, yes, you get the additional 40 horsepower and 50 newton meters of torque, but you're also getting an 11 mile per hour increase in the top speed, 
and that zero to 60 time is cut to four seconds flat. The SE will also come with the Lotus driver's pack as standard, which includes sport suspension settings, uprated, cross-drilled, and ventilated two-piece brake discs, and launch control with the SE. The Amira Turbo SE is also gonna get newly finished 20-inch V-spoke forged satin gray wheels. And because these are forged, you can expect them to weigh less than the regular turbo wheels. And we're also gonna get that standard zinc gray paint along with a Alcantara headliner, red brake calipers, and there's gonna be new Emira Turbo SE badging and new Black Lotus branding and Black Lotus badges as well, along with black tailpipes. The Emira V6 is also going to feature cross-drilled and ventilated two-piece brake discs, the Goodyear tires, the touring suspension, a limited slip differential for the manual models, and the Amira V6 will also get design features such as headlining, A-pillars, and can trail in black technical fabric and new branding as well. And that's everything you need to know regarding the 2025 Lotus Amira. Let's see if we truly do get that Turbo SE model. I think we will personally for the United States market. And I would have liked to see more information regarding that new audio option. In the highlight section, they said audio option internal. I would have liked to know more about that. But regardless though, let me know your thoughts regarding the Amira. I personally love the way this car looks. It's so exotic and definitely looks a lot better than the Caymans and the Boxsters, in my opinion. I would love to have that V6 and I would actually go with the manual transmission with the Lotus. If it were a Porsche product, I would perhaps choose the PDK, but with this Lotus, I feel like the manual is the way to go. Again, let us know your thoughts. And if you're an owner of one of these cars, let us know how you like it and how it's been holding up for you. But thank you again for watching. Take care and goodbye.